Let's um, go through an example to see this algorithm in action. So there will be um, an example for the uh, Lloyd Max uh, iteration. So we will assume that we have a signal that it's between 0 and 1, that it's uniformly distributed, so our P of X is equal to 1 on this interval, and we want to have two reconstruction values, or two code words Y of K, so we'll have three boundaries B of K, so we have that B0 is equal to 0, B2 is equal to 1, and we need to find B1. So this is a very simple uh, example, so we can just get the feeling of how this algorithm works. So step one, we will start with a random initialization of Y1 and Y2. So we choose some values for Y1 and Y2. And then we will apply the nearest neighbor uh, rule. So we will calculate B1 given Y1 and Y2, which were random initialized. So then we have B1, so we have this value here. Then we will compute the conditional expectation. So we have this equation here for Y of K. So now we have B1. And then we will use our PDF, which is uh, equals to 1. So what we will do, we have from uh, 0 to 0 0.55, so B0 to B1. And we have this part here. Then we also have the denominator here, so we're just replacing here. And then we will come up with the new values of Y1 and Y2 that is given by these values here. And then we go back and we will calculate again the nearest neighbor with these updated values. So now the B1 is equal to this. And then we go back to step three and we'll calculate the conditional expectation again. And we will keep doing this until it doesn't change much more. And we will see that this should converge to Y1 is equal to 0 0.25 and Y2 0 0.75 and B1 to 0 0.5. So let's define here our uh, functions uh, for this algorithm. So here is a function to compute a B of K, which is the nearest neighbor uh, rule. So we're dividing uh, given Y. Y will be an array with two numbers. So we will take the average. And then we are also defining a function to calculate the Y of K, which is given by this formula here. So this is what we're doing here. So we are using here this numerical integration from SciPy, uh, like uh, in a previous um, notebook, we've seen this revision on PDFs, histograms, and numeric integration. So we are using this here, and we are computing for Y1 and Y2. And here is where the iteration happens. So we random initialize our y, so this y1 and y2, exactly like we did here, 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. We will define a certain number uh, to iterate, so we go from uh, 100 iterations, and we are defining an epsilon, so this is the small change, so if the values will change less than this, we will stop the uh, algorithm, so we are setting that p starts equal to zero and we have this for loop this is the iteration so what we are doing is we are going from this step this step this step and then we keep going back to two and updating and when we have a small uh, change that we think okay it's good enough we can stop so when we run this we see that after 14 uh, iterations we have that uh, y1 is uh, equals to 0 0.25 so it converts to this value as we, we said before y2 converts to 0 0.75 and b converts to 0 0.5 so this is a very rudimentary uh, implementation of this algorithm to give it 
uh, some sense of how it's working. 